well, right, the idea was in the, in the history of the construction, double curvature structures uh, always represented a conceptual challenge for architects and for engineers. From ancient masonry walls and domes to modern reinforced concrete. So we will, uh, of course, uh, underline modern reinforced concrete shells. Their intrinsic three-dimensional behavior in terms of stresses and failure mechanisms can be hardly predicted by intuition because it relies on the complex interactions between geometrical and mechanical properties. In the past, the conception was ruled mainly by geometrical proportions or trying to apply the knowledge of the mechanics of arches in the case of masonry domes. The first shells were, of course, masonry domes. So, uh, first, the geometrical approach was given evidence in the 17th century, for example, by Carlo Fontana, which, uh, uh, who published uh, the demonstration and rules to build simple domes, and these are geometrical rules. Or an adaptation of uh, starting and developing uh, theories about the mechanics of arches. For instance, when uh, St. Peter Dome revealed all the structural problems it had, in, uh, in the middle, uh, in the center, in the uh, middle part of the uh, 18th century, uh, first uh, a kinematical analysis was uh, made uh, by the three mathematicians, and that was a very interesting uh, adaptation of uh, starting knowledge about the mechanics of arches and the use of, of a kinematical approach, or the year after, by Giovanni Poleni, a statical analysis based on the first line of a lune of a, of a, of a, a lune of a dome considered as an arch of, a, of a varying thickness. While the diffusion of reinforced concrete in the first half of the 20th century brought to the golden age of shell structures through the contribution of of some outstanding figures, uh, protagonists uh, like Tedesco, like Maroni, uh, like Lafayette, Torroja, Candela, Nervi, and uh, Isler. Uh, I will uh, uh, just, uh, my role is to introduce uh, some hints and uh, then Mario Sassone will tell that in detail. I will uh, start with a few citations uh, from uh, Felix Cardella. Filosofia de las Estructuras, published in Barcelona in 1910. Uh, I introduce this uh, uh, citation under the, uh, the item Reinforced Concrete and New Freedom. Shall we obtain some integral method for the stability assessment of all construction which would also shine enough light to find new and infinite structural forms which surely exist in that mysterious area from where the beam, the arch, the frame, the cantilever were largely extracted by expert hand of mechanical visionaries. So uh, Cardella had an idea to think larger, wider. There, are, uh, there is a, a huge uh, a huge uh, world of, uh, of uh, structural forms. Let us note that uh, a year later, a very conservative vision was expressed in uh, the well-known um, ambient of the Concrete Institute in London. To put it crudely, the classic forms of Greece and Rome, the Gothic forms of England, the Renaissance treatment of Italy are, after all, the staple of the only possible architectural treatment of reinforced concrete architecture today, so very conservative. 